Kia ora everyone, my name is Amy Batrick and I'm a year one teacher at Kohia Terrace School. I'm also an in-school leader for ACOS and um, again same as Alison, this is my first um, one of these so I'm really looking forward to um, sharing some ideas with you about um, ESOL strategies that we have at Kohia Terrace School. So um, although I'm not an ESOL teacher myself, um, I'd like to share some ideas about what we're doing with ESOL students at Kohia Terrace School. Um, it's part of my cross-sector group as part of our ACOS community and I'd just like to share some ideas with you today. Often our ESOL teachers come to work alongside students in their classroom rather than the students being withdrawn. They assist students with their learning across the curriculum so our ESOL students are learning the same content and topic language as their peers. Our ESOL program also focuses on pre-loading students with topics they are just about to begin. For example, here, students are learning academic words before their next term's inquiry begins in a few weeks. So this is helping to develop their CALPs or their cognitive academic language proficiency. This way, students become experts and are able to contribute conf confidently to their class discussions. We also focus on different themes that the students are likely to encounter in their daily lives. This is developing their BICs or their basic interpersonal communicative skills. The aim is to get them confident talking and using lots of different vocabulary. The program is structured cumulatively so that each lesson builds upon the next. Our ESOL program is individualized and needs based. So after establishing what students gaps are, our ESOL teachers design activities and games that will help them with a particular skill that they're missing. The ESOL program is designed to give students opportunity to talk as much as possible. So listening and speaking comes before reading and writing. We try to integrate ICT that encourages talking, for example, apps where students can record and hear their own voices. We give opportunities for students to write in their home language if they're able to do so. This can build their confidence and give us an indication into their literacy abilities. We use the ELLP data to inform our teaching. If there are clear patterns of gaps on their ELPs, we can use that information to plan needs-based interventions. We consider the balance of withdrawal programs and within-class support and use a hybrid of both. So students not only have opportunities to develop their BICs, but importantly, their CALPs. Um, just a little bit on engaging the parent community, we currently have a WeChat group which we can use to communicate with our Chinese community. One of our kind parents volunteers to translate our school newsletter into Mandarin. We also have TAs who translate important school notices and leaflets into Mandarin and Korean. We have ESOL information on our website and links to documents in a variety of languages. We also offer evening sessions on how to help your child at home for all our new entrant families. One of our goals at KTS is to increase parent engagement in multicultural events, to share and promote cultural celebrations with staff and students and make the way we celebrate cultures more visible in the school. So an example of something we've done this year was the Korean Day initiative, where a student approached his teacher wanting to celebrate the Korean culture with the rest of the school. And he then went on to organize a shared lunch where Korean children and their parents were invited to celebrate together and each bring a non-Korean friend to share in the Korean culture. We also run language clubs and cultural dance groups, which are led by volunteer parents. So just a final word on where to next. So we would like to include more detailed reporting to parents of ESOL students based on their ELPs. We also aim to increase activities within our ESOL programs that encourage homeschool partnership. We've got some amazing ideas from other schools in our call and we look forward to collaborating more as we work together to create the best possible outcomes for our ESOL students and their families. Thank you.